These remote-controlled bombs, usually buried or concealed beneath debris, have killed thousands of soldiers and wounded tens of thousands more. Before the Andros, bomb disposal experts in war zones had no choice but to risk their lives trying to disarm IEDs by hand, often under enemy fire. Few jobs in modern warfare are more dangerous. Now those experts man the robotic controls in better defended positions as far as a mile away from the IED. Anytime you take the human life out of danger and keep the human judgment in place, it's a good thing. Brian Gansner knows the deadly threat of IEDs better than most. In 2006, Brian was a staff sergeant serving in Iraq. On July 28th, an IED exploded directly beneath his Humvee. I didn't feel any pain, but just didn't feel right, at which point I kind of had a feeling that I had been hurt. The blast had shattered the heels of both of Gansner's feet, and he lost a life-threatening amount of blood. Multiple surgeries spanning months helped him recover. He retired from the Army and now works as a technician at the company that builds the Andros, Remotech in Clinton, Tennessee. It's a way for me to stay in the fight. I get great satisfaction out of knowing that I'm helping someone else not get injured the way that I was injured. The Andros neutralizes IEDs by removing their fuses or detonating them using plastic explosives. Both options demand the same exacting dexterity as humans. So it's no surprise that the Andros's key anatomical feature, its arm, is a lot like ours. Actually have the actual wrist, just like the wrist on your arm. So we have about 280 degrees movement up and down with that wrist. We have the elbow, again, mimicking the human arm. It's just like the elbow. Further down, we have the shoulder. Again, mimicking the shoulder on, a, on your human body. And then below the shoulder, we, we have a torso where we actually can twist and turn. The Andros's hand, its gripper, can rotate 360 degrees and is agile enough to unlock doors and open combination locks. If an IED is too high to reach, the Andros can stand on its tiptoes. This robot's five strategically placed cameras act as its eyes, allowing its remote operator to see everything it sees. 